All eyes on London as the city braces itself for an historic goodbye to the Queen. Welcome everyone to Entertainment Tonight. Kevin Frazier in London with the latest and Kev, keep calm and carry on is taking on a whole new meaning. And Michelle, the folks behind me are the epitome of that statement. Most of these people got in the queue or the line early this morning. The hope is that they will get to see the Queen's coffin sometime before midnight. And it is everyday people and even famous faces that are lining up, like soccer superstar David Beckham. I thought by coming at 2 a.m., it was going to be a little bit quieter. I was wrong. I grew up in a household uh, of royalists, so I'm here on their behalf and on behalf of my family. An emotional Beckham in black today removed his cap inside Westminster Hall to honor Her Majesty who knighted him in 2003. It's a sad day, but it's a day for us to, to remember, you know, the incredible legacy that she's left. The soccer superstar said he waited more than 12 hours in the line, which, by the way, stretches more than five and a half miles. It got so long and so congested that they closed it down this morning for six hours. And according to some estimates, if you are at the back of that line, you could wait up to 24 hours. Dio O'Gallon. That's King Charles giving a speech in Welsh earlier today. He visited Wales with Camilla and notably appeared to bring his own pen to sign the visitor's book after this week's viral pen snafu. Oh, God, I hate it. And it was actually, quote, at the king's request that Harry be allowed to wear his military uniform at tomorrow night's vigil. It will take place right behind us in Westminster Hall. Harry, William, and the other six grandchildren will all stand in silence for 15 minutes to honor their grandmother. E.T. has learned that his spouses will not be in attendance. That includes Kate and Meghan. But tonight, it was Her Majesty's children who stood in vigil. And have you been a part of any sort of celebrations in the past? Earlier, Will and Kate met Army personnel deployed to help with the massive state funeral. There was a full dress rehearsal last night, and there will be another tonight. Now, Heathrow has actually canceled 100 flights that were set to take off during the funeral, and that is so there will not be any plane noise during the procession. As for the guest list? Well, we know royal fan Tom Cruise has a home in London. He attended the Royal Jubilee. William and Kate also attended the Top Gun Maverick premiere. We saw the crowns clear foy at Heathrow yesterday, and then then there's all the celebs the Queen has knighted, including Elton John. A, a deepest condolences to the family. E.T. was with Elton's husband, David Furnish. Both attended Princess Diana's funeral at Westminster, where Elton famously played. Like a candle in the wind. The 75-year-old is currently on tour. He'll be in North Carolina on Sunday, but E.T.'s learned he has Monday open. We celebrate our life tonight with music, okay? Okay.